we come now to um, item number 11, uh, which is uh, really a, a, um, a open process report. Um, so um, maybe if um, I move it, I, can I ask for a seconder on that? I'll second. Thank you, Councillor Simpson. Um, and I'm imagining that uh, questions and comments can be held over for the item under, under C1 on that. Um, so if there's no objection, I'll, I'll simply put that, uh, I'll put the vote on that. All those on, in favour, please say aye. 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 To the aye. contrary, no. Carried. Um, now we come uh, to item number 12, which is consideration uh, of extraordinary business, and this relates to the appointment of a group recovery manager for COVID-19, and the motion on the screen is to appoint um, Phil Wilson to that position um, to add to his already considerable workload. Thank you. Thank you for that, Phil. Um, uh, I'm, I'm happy uh, to, to move that again. Can I have uh, somebody second it? Efeso. Efeso, thank you. Um, seconded by uh, Councillor Efeso Collins. And uh, if I can ask, I think Kate Crawford, you're back on the line with us, Kate? No. Um, so um, maybe maybe I'm going to ask if it's in order, uh, Phil Wilson, just to exp since he is the focal point of the resolution, uh, to outline um, why this position is necessary and the sort of role and responsibility that he'll have. Audio quality. Okay. I'm sorry, my quality is is not good there. Um, not sure what's going on there. Usually, it's uh, it's quite good at this end. So what I've what I've done is asked uh, Phil Wilson uh, to speak to the paper. Uh, Phil, uh, we we've got gremlins in the system, and uh, Phil's um, having trouble getting in. Um, as you will have seen from the the paper, which um, uh, I think everybody received as a, as a late paper. Um, the requirement is to appoint a group recovery manager uh, for COVID-19, and usually at the end of a, a process um, involving uh, CDM, uh, we do that. Um, it's the, the position uh, is to uh, deal with the recovery phase, and it won't be that the crisis phase and the recovery phase are two separate and distinct things. Uh, they'll run together. But we certainly need somebody to, to take um, the responsibility and fulfil the role of leading us uh, out of the crisis and through the recovery phase. And I think Phil's got his uh, uh, audio back, so um, I'll ask you to elaborate further on that, Phil. Thanks, Your Worship. Yes, this is, this is largely procedural. Um, just need to formalise this matter um, through the Emergency Committee, acting on behalf of the um, Group Civil Defence Committee. Um, um, to the Mayor's point, yes, um, the recovery phase is, is um, significantly directed by the, the um, national coordination effort. Um, um, it would mean that I work closely with Kate and others in Auckland Emergency Management on the recovery phase. Um, the recovery phase itself is potentially quite long term. Um, it sort of differs from what you might normally expect in terms of activity um, post-emergency once um, threat to life and property is, is dealt with. Um, obviously, councillors are aware of the, the social, economic um, and so on implications of this for a longer time frame. So it's it's a good solution, uh, we suggest, um, to have the Auckland Emergency Management formal effort well tied in with council and other agencies in terms of what this means for the community. So um, um, I'm not going to speak in my own favour in terms of the appointment. Um, you can form your own view quietly on that. Thank you, Your Worship. Hello. Sorry, my mic is off, so probably I've got to start that all again. Um, 
Okay, it is a requirement uh, under under Section 29 of the Civil Defence Emergency Management Act that each uh, CDM group appoint uh, a person, a suitably qualified and experienced person, to be group recovery manager. And uh, all of us know Phil well enough uh, to know that he has considerable experience, uh, having been a governance director since uh, 2015 and before that chief of staff in the mayor's office and before that in Monaco uh, Council, uh, that he has the skills uh, to carry out uh, the responsibilities and the role in this area um, uh, in an exemplary manner. So um, I'm not sure that I'll, I'll go uh, through the list, but I'll just ask um, if anybody has a question or a comment that they would like to make. It's quite straightforward, but if you could please indicate um, by taking a call uh, orally uh, and giving your name, and uh, we'll, we'll run questions and comments together if there are any of either. Yeah, me, Phil. Uh, Kathy Casey. Councillor Casey. Phil Wilson does an extraordinary job in many roles at the moment. Does that mean he's shifting from those roles to do this other one? Uh, though it largely means that he's working twice the hours for the same pay. <laughs> <laughs> Thank the, you for that clarification, Mr Mayor. The, the grimace uh, on, on Phil's face indicates that I've probably, uh, I've probably got it right. Uh, <laughs> any, uh, thank you, Councillor Casey. Um, any, any further questions or comments? If Chris not, Darby, Mayor? Uh, yeah, Councillor Darby. Thank you. Uh, thank you, Phil. Phil, um, about five weeks ago, I talked to the Director of Strategy about implementing a strategic uh, response um, to COVID and some initial work is being undertaken. Do I take it that the Director of Strategy retains that oversight and lead along with the Planning Committee for the strategic response to COVID? Sorry, Phil's just trying to get his uh, audio right. Are you uh, are you on air now? I am. New yep. new technology for me. Um, uh, yes, and I would be working closely with Megan in that regard. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, any further questions or comments? Uh, from me, Phil. Uh, Councillor Philippina. Thank you. Uh, question uh, to Phil W. Um, Phil. I know that um, Claudia has, has, is doing some work with her team around what things would look like post um, the lockdown uh, and to our levels. Is, is, is that still a piece of work um, um, based on what Chris is saying, that, that all the committees and groups are doing? Yes. Um what, you've, what we need to do is um, envisage this as quite a broad, coordinated effort, not just within council and, and the executive team within council and, and Claudia in particular is working actively on planning around level three, level two, level one and post this um, uh, lockdown situation entirely. So we will be working closely together. Um, what Claudia is doing is uh, hugely relevant because it goes to the planning of council's uh, services for the longer term. Um, so to our coordination with other agencies and service delivery in the city. Thank you. Uh, any further questions or comments? Councillor Philippina? Just had the comment. So, um, Phil, congratulations and um, I have no doubt at all uh, that the people sitting around the emergency committee will be there to assist. So congratulations. Uh, thank you very much, Councillor. Any further questions or comments? Uh, Richard. Uh, Councillor Hills. Uh, yeah, just a quick comment. Uh, uh, good appointment, good role for Phil and his relationship across the uh, business, but also with both uh, councillors, IMSB and uh, local board members will uh, mean this quite a perfect uh, person for the role as well, so thanks. Thank you, Councillor. Uh, any further comments, questions? If not, um, the motion has been moved by myself, seconded by Councillor Collins, which is to appoint Phil Wilson uh, to the role of Group Recovery Manager COVID-19, uh, and that will 
that will be a, a specific role for a specific period of time. All of us would really love to know how long a period of time that would be. Um, I'll put the resolution on the voices, if that's okay. Uh, all those in favour, please say aye. 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 To, aye. To, the to the contrary, no. Uh, I declare it carried. Um, we come now to the resolution um, to exclude the public um, from the consideration of item C1 uh, on the basis that this contains information and confidence uh, from our CCOs and information concerning uh, financial risks, cyber and information security risks. Uh, could I have a seconder for that motion, please? I'll second it, boss. Thank you. Um, Deputy Mayor Cashmore. Um, uh, I'll move that resolution. All those in favour, please say aye. 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 To the contrary, no. Carried. Um, now, councillors, I, I'm going to recommend we just take a uh, maybe a, a five-minute break because uh, it, it's the last item on the agenda. It's not necessarily uh, one that will take a, a prolonged period of time. But we do have immediately after that a, a confidential financial update from uh, Kevin Ramsey, the acting group um, chief financial officer on where we're at um, with the process of uh, tackling the challenges we face on finances and uh, getting the annual uh, plan finalised. Um, so that will that will take that will take a little longer. Um, can I just ask Sandra to give advice now because we come back in not under this. Um, uh, this particular channel, but a separate confidential channel on scope. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, councillors, can I please get you to hang up?